How's the guitarist? Here's a little uh, kind of a let's look back uh, study on uh, chord forms, sometimes called the five chord qualities. We look at them from the E string, the A string, and the D string. These are really cool and they can help you get all over the neck. Um, let's just do the forms in the key of C on each of the strings. So um, here's uh, the five chord qualities from the E string using a typical C major 7. C major 7, flat to 7, C dominant, C minor, C minor 7, flat 5 are half diminished and full diminished. Cool, so here it is from the A string. C major 7, C dominant, C minor 7, half diminished, minor 7, flat 5, full diminished. On the D string, we're up here on the 10th fret. Major 7, dominant 7, minor 7, minor 7, flat 5, full diminished. Uh, these are very helpful in uh, the standards because they're all over the place and the diminished uh, isn't featured in the, the, say, the diatonic scale of these chords. These chords work in a scale fashion. Uh, for example, here would be the uh, E string. Uh, in the key of F just to see it up the neck. And that's kind of nice. And then B flat would be the A, A, A string forms. And we're ending up on the 13th fret. Here's the D string forms. Also, these can help you uh, with saving a lot of runaround, sometimes searching for um, uh, chords because they end up, when you learn these and get them on your hand, they're right underneath your fingers. Um, also, the modes peel off these chords. For example, Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Locrin, and uh, just a diminished scale. From the A string, it kind of inverts. The A string would be um, the fingering from the, the E string when you're playing your uh, C major is actually from the fifth, which would be a mixolydian. It gets a little tricky, but uh, as you get, as you begin to understand these chords and their forms, like um, they become pretty useful in terms of peeling scales off them too. For example, um, here are the C major seven on the 12th fret. Kind of runs off a Dorian into a Ionian. That's scale stuff, but I'm trying to talk about chords, so I'm getting kind of off point here. Uh, these are really cool. Um, the diminished can be used in an old-fashioned kind of style, but very important for passing sort of sounds. For example, this kind of sound. So this would be a root in the key of F. string. Get lost. So that's where diminished come in. They're very cool that way. Uh, they sort of fit the, the pockets between the actual chords. Now, um, these chords 
are pretty uh, straight voicings, but they can be altered and they, they make for some fun sounds that I'm sure you probably heard. But uh, for example, on the middle sets, um, we can flat the fives and sus the fours, which instead of sounding like this. That's just a straight C major diatonic chord skip. So we're gonna, we're gonna flat the fives or sharp the four, however you wanna call it, and sus the, um, the fours. So it sounds like this, it's kinda cool. And certainly on the top forms. Um, when you get past the 12th fret or double dots, you got to go down. Flatting the five, sussing the four. Five down to four. Flat five, sus, 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 flat five. You'll figure it out. It's fun, fun stuff. I think it is. It gives you a, a slightly more, uh, more tension in your voicing. And then, of course, we can deal with um, on our major sevens. We can always throw in uh, nines and thirteens, adding the six and the two. That goes for the dominant as well, and for the minor. And you can flat the 13, uh, flat the 9, excuse me, you can sharp the 9. This is a 13 sharp 9, which is a really ugly chord. But in places it comes in handy. <laughs> okay, so these are just some, some little glimpses of um, pretty cool chords. Once again, just in review, uh, major, the five chord qualities. Major 7, dominant 7, minor 7, flat 5, full diminished from the A string. Major 7. Dominant seven, minor seven, half diminished, or minor seven flat five, and full diminished, and then same same minor seven, half diminished. Oops. <laughs> Major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor seven flat five. Looks like a nine chord, and full diminished. And uh, just as a tag note, um, these. Nine forms these half diminishes on the on the from the D string. They're very similar uh, to the structure of a of a nine chord. Here we're we're in a C minor seven flat five, but if you throw down the uh, root on top, you can have, turn it into an a, a flat nine. This half diminished is sort of a, an inversion of a dominant, so you get this sound. So that's kind of cool, but what I was trying to get at last that I'm rambling on here. Um, these are really fun uh, in how they co-work co with um, diminished forms the, on the top four. And you get a lot of these. They sort of nice try. Anyways, I'm getting a little far field. I hope you enjoy these looks at uh, some very important chord structures that can really uh, open up the fretboard for you. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs>